I'm currently in the market for another helmet. I want another like like motocross type helmet, but I want the ones with the uh, with the visor, the the closable visor you can put over top. I don't want to spend a mint. Like I mean, I, I, I'm not spending like $900 on a helmet because it's two ounces less than the one that's like $100. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I was watching a video Ride Victoria did. It's this helmet called Voss. It actually looks like a really nice helmet. I looked her up on eBay just to find the darn thing, and uh, I think their lowest shipping and all that kind of junk's around like 160 bucks. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how it would fit on my melon. If I'd be taking an extra large or a 2XL, um, this helmet I have on is a 2XL. It could probably be a little tighter, but usually, Usually extra large is the size it fits, but I'd be nervous on spending 160 bucks on something I can't return, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll do a trip to Royal Distributing sometime soon. See what kind of deals they got going on there. You know, the more and more I do these moto vlogs, the easier and easier it gets to talk to myself. <laughs> Fish Hatchery Road? what it is. Some trout, like fish hatchery out there. They got all the different stages. They got the fry, they got the little fish, they got the spawners, they got friggin' everything out there. They stock the lakes in this area. Too bad most of them are going out to the lakes that are getting netted to shit. <laughs> no, I'm not going off road. <laughs> I could. I should. I wonder if I should. Maybe I will. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Twist my rubber arm. Aww. Stops here. Oh, well, this sucks. <clears throat> oh, wait, there it is. Let him take the highway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes, all tucked in, speedy like. Oh. I always wondered, I always wanted ah, to go on these trails. <laughs> the ones beside the highway. You always see the trails. You always see guys on their four wheelers all the way out here. He's probably saying to himself, God damn it, now I gotta wait for him up here on the highway. <laughs> I'll just turn off. Uh, Last time I was off road, I ripped the frame on my bike on my kickstand kickstand down and rip the frame. It's all good now. It's all welded up now. But the last time I was off-road, I ripped my frame. <laughs> hey, there he is. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it until you suggested it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Come here in the middle of November. Go out there and have all the grass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm good. It's out of my system. It's out of my system. I'm good. Yeah. You can't ride it, so let's go. <laughs> Unless you want to. I'll film it.
battery life this GoPro has, anyway. Uh, I've never actually done one continuous long friggin' recording. Like, the amount of recording I've done already, man, I've shut the GoPro off two or three times by now. It's probably the longest stretch of friggin' recording I'm, I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. Look at that. Love it, man, love it. This is my home. Hopefully the audio sounds decent. The amount of window here. Oh yeah, that's another reason for my uh, my wanting a new helmet with the uh, the full face cover there. Try to reduce some of this wind noise ringing in my ears. Yeah, I know I've got other other helmets, but I like the style of these ones. And well, let's just face this, I just, I just want a new helmet. <laughs> I've had these ones for a few years now. And I think it's time to change her up a bit and put this one on the side. So guys, just recently, <coughs> I was sponsored by uh, Cyberlink Power Director. The, uh, I got all the, uh, the new Power Director 11 for editing my videos. I had an old version of Power Director. This is a 64-bit version, which runs a lot nicer on my system than the old one. And, uh, if you go on to right to my very like right on to my channel page, or you can also check the link in the description. There's uh, a link on the main channel page, like up uh, in my little banner there, for Cyberlink. If you'd like to click on it, check them out, go see what kind of stuff they have. It's actually a very, very, a very simple editing program to use. It's got some effects in it, like it's not. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, TV studio quality stuff, you know, but I mean, it's, uh, it's for guys like you and me, you know, just want to edit some videos, have some fun, don't want to be overwhelmed by a bunch of useless crap and stuff, and <clears throat> like, I mean, my videos, I try to keep them as nice and simple as I can. I don't like to get too technical with my shit. Every now and then I want to do something a little bit, but I mean, Cyberlink does everything I want to do. Or power director. Uh, so that yeah, there you go, guys. Check that out. It's actually pretty cool. In case you're wondering what kind of video editing software I was using, that's it. <laughs> I've been using it <coughs> pretty much this whole time, but now I just have the newer version. That's all. This road right here goes to Mattawa, Ontario. Very twisty, very curvy. Not as nice as it used to be. Back in the day, that road. Oh my God, it was so smooth. Um, Back when it was really smooth, I was 18, and I had a GSX-R750. Oh my god, that road was a blast. Oh, just loved it. Anytime any of the guys, we all went out on the rockets, that's where we went. And that highway was awesome. I'm getting a bit of a cold. <coughs> wow. That sky's looking nasty, man. So we're about 20 kilometers away from Quebec right now. Quebec being the final destination. Maybe I'll buy some beer out here. Beer's like half the price in Quebec <laughs> compared to Ontario. Yeah, this carburetor needs to be cleaned very soon, man. Oh my god, it's making me freaking mental. Holy shit. Constant friggin'. It's almost like there's a piece of dirt, like a sand or a rock. Well, it feels like a rock, for God's sakes, to make me stop rolling around, going across a jet or something, and stopping the fuel. Oh my god. Rex, quit being so damn lazy. <laughs> Clean your damn carburetor. Okay. But, like I said in the past, I don't want to clean the damn thing until I get the friggin' carb kit. The proper carb kit, like to friggin' give this thing a little more jam. Once I get that kit, yeah, I'll be good to go. Let's clean this bitch up. So guys, in case you're wondering who Cat Piss actually is, he's an RC guy. Radio control cars, 
planes, helicopters, he does them all. He's, uh, he does, you know, he does some pretty fancy shit. <clears throat> Check him out. You like the kind of stuff? Pretty cool.